What's up kids, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just ordered this and got it. It's from Pilata. It's a men's outdoor waterproof sport uh, arc shaped glass LED digital watch. And this is the box that comes in. I'm actually kind of impressed for 20 something dollars. It's kind of a cool little packaging. It's nothing super high end. It's just a little clear plastic piece up there. But uh, it comes like this. Whoops, I already hit the mode button it looks like. A couple things I want to point out here is if you thought this was a Suntu, you'd be forgiven because apparently it looks like it just borrows the Suntu um, uh, design verbatim, basically. Honestly, I saw it and was like, what? It's just a generic Suntu? But there's going to be a whole lot of things that make this a $20 watch as opposed to a two or $300 watch like the Suntu. So I'm going to point those out. But um, in terms of physical design it's pretty cool it's kind of this rounded um, stone shaped case here everything's black plastic there's a little um, deep markings on the bezel here and then pretty bright loom right at the the 12 o'clock pip nowhere else as far as I can see but there might be a backlight then a rubber band Nicely molded in and seems secure. It looks like a pin goes through there to probably hold it on the lug. And then three textured plastic buttons on this side, two on the left side. A little bit of ribbon here, but otherwise the band is pretty flat and straight. Uh, just a standard case back there. And it is water resistant, so you know, feel free to use this one for your outdoor activities. The clasp here is interesting because it has a really wide tongue. So you should get a nice sturdy fit on the band. And there's all, quite a few graduations. So should be able to fit nicely on pretty much any wrist. I can tell you as I'm putting it on here, um, the the contours of the band are, are a pretty nice fit for my wrist. Just go ahead and throw it on there. And so you can see, not super big. I mean, it is a bigger watch and it is fairly tall. But it's super comfortable. I mean, it's it's not heavy as you would expect most sport and digital watches to be. Um, but it is, like I said, it's just kind of hugs the wrist like a Fitbit or something, and is really comfortable to wear. Uh, I assume that this won't breathe as well as so maybe some other band materials like rubber watch bands. I, I kind of tend to kind of hate the sweat kind of thing on them, but they're easy to rinse off under a faucet. So we'll play around with this one, and I'll give you a report in a little while. So I didn't need a whole lot of time with this watch to kind of discover all the ins and outs. And it's probably because it's just a cheap watch. Not dirt cheap, but very inexpensive and I think a good value so far. Um, but there aren't a lot of features. First of all, there are some compass markings around here. And the only thing they're good for is generally giving yourself kind of the compass rose when you're out hiking. There's no feature on the watch that indicates that there is a compass built into this. So all I would tell you is if you actually had a compass, you know, kind of generally what the degree measurements are off uh, center. So anyway, uh, down here is the mode button and it goes to stopwatch to begin with. This stop button is the start. This bottom will split. So you can see it continues. Then the top button will stop it again and the bottom will restart. So pretty stop typical stopwatch features on this watch. Then the next thing that you can do is, um, if you scroll away to throw three three presses to scroll past the stopwatch, you get to an alarm section here. So you can set an alarm, it's set for noon, but it's not on at the moment. I'm not gonna do anything with that. And then if you go to the next position, you get to the setting of the time and day and date. So this is kind of resets and uh, this kind of scrolls you through, the bottom scrolls you through the, the choices. Uh, and the last thing I'll mention here is that it does have a backlight. This button here appear, uh, appears to turn it on, as well as this button here uh, in the standard crown position appears to turn it on. It's nice and bright. Um, I've got some night shots of it that I'll show you there, but uh, I'm not sure why there are two buttons that turn it on, but I guess it's kind of nice if it's dark and you're fumbling for it. Um, it's going to be easy to find because just keep hitting stuff. It'll turn on. So that's really it. What I would say is, if you're looking for a cool looking watch that could be confused for a Suntu, 
And really all you care about is knowing what time it is and maybe having a little bit of water resistance, but having something light and comfortable, maybe it doesn't quite look as sporty as kind of this S-Shock. Maybe a little less uh, Seattle Seahawks-like and a little, little black or a little more Kylo Ren. You could uh, pick this up and I think it's a really nice watch. Like I said, it wears really nicely. Um, Size-wise, I would say this is a fairly large watch, but it doesn't feel like that on the wrist. So check it out, but just understand not a lot of features. Because of the price point, you're really just kind of getting a traditional sport watch repackaged in a little bit of a different design. The one cool thing I will point about, point out here is this little um, grid checkerboard here is essentially counting the seconds. I have not figured out exactly what the symbols mean or how it's doing that, but and there may be no kind of intention to it, but it changes with each second and I don't know what that's about. But it does have the day, time, and date at the bottom. So pretty good value. 20 plus bucks. I'll put a link in the description. Peter Von Panda. Out.